who have respawned these pylons here do not do a very good job. They clearly look out of place and I'll teach you how to fix this using Unity. So here we have some pylons on an overhang feature. I'm going to write some code so when the pylons collide with the overhang they will be removed. So hopefully the developer can come back in and clean up these pylons because it makes the level look really unfinished and thanks for watching. Whoever replaced this cat NPC did not do a very good job. The mechanics are clearly broken, but I'll teach you how to fix this using Unity. So in Unity, you want to troubleshoot the issue. Here I can see that there is a cube colliding with the NPC, and by turning it off, the NPC starts to act normal again. Hopefully the developer can troubleshoot and fix this cat NPC because it's clearly broken. Thank you very much for watching. Whoever did the physics in this scene did not do a very good job. This ball is clearly not moving, but I'll teach you how to fix this using Unity. Here in Unity we have a ball that cannot move, but if I go into the Rigibody Physics tab and turn off all the freeze constraints on the position, we now have a ball that moves with proper physics. Hopefully the developer can come back in and fix this glitch because it looks ridiculous. And thanks for watching. Whoever spawned this moose on a roof did not do a very good job. It clearly is not supposed to be there, but I'll teach you how to fix this using Unity. So here in Unity, we have a moose on a roof. By making sure that they both have colliders and writing a script that every time a moose is on a roof, it will delete itself. You can also just move it. Then when the moose spawns on a roof, it will be either removed or moved. Hopefully the developer can come back in and fix this glitch because this looks ridiculous. And thanks for watching. Whoever placed this bird in this level did not do a very good job. The physics on it is not working and I'll teach you how to fix this using Unity. So here in Unity we have a bird and it's just floating around. But if I go to the ridgy body and turn gravity on, it falls down and acts normally. Hopefully the developer can come back in and fix this glitch because it looks very odd. And thank you for watching. Whoever wrote the spawn code for this NPC did not do a very good job. It just spawns out of nowhere and I'll teach you how to fix this using Unity. Here in Unity we have an NPC spawning out of nowhere. But if I change the spawn height from 5 to 0 0.15, the NPC now spawns at a normal height. Hopefully the developer can come back in and fix this glitch. And thanks for watching. Whoever modeled this did not do a very good job. These UVs are a mess. Oh. Show you how to UV properly using Blender. All right, so I'm here in Blender, and as you can see, these UVs don't match up. So I'm gonna teach you how to fix that. So I'm gonna select all the panels, then I'm going to go to UV and Cube Projection. As you can see, after doing this, we have very nice UVs, and it's all tiled and textured perfectly. So this is how you fix your UVs. I hope that developer can take some notes and fix their model. Thank you very much for watching. Whoever placed this barrel did not scale it properly. It's way too big for the scene. And I'll teach you how to fix this using Blender. So in Blender, I have a human for scale reference. So I'm gonna click on the barrel and then press S for scale. I'm gonna scale it down. Then I'm gonna move it down by using the move tool. As you can see here, we have an appropriately scaled barrel. I hope the developer can come back in and rescale this barrel because it's way too big. Thank you very much for watching. Whoever made this asset did not do a very good job. It looks way too low poly for the scene and I'll teach you how to fix this using Blender. Here I have the low poly asset. I'm going to click it and go into edit mode. Then I'm going to select the edge loop tool and start giving it tons of edge loops. This is going to increase the poly count and it's going to make the asset look a lot better in the scene. The next thing is we're going to go into sculpt mode and we're going to start smoothing out all the new polygons that we just added. So we're going to give a nice shape to the model. After some more smoothing and kit bashing, here is the new high poly model. It looks a lot better than the original. Hopefully the developer can come back in and fix these low poly assets. Thank you very much for watching. Whoever scaled these buoys did not do it properly. They're way too big for the scene. I'll teach you how to fix this using Blender. One of the best ways to scale stuff is using a human for scale. So here I have a human next to the buoy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale the buoy appropriately. I'm going to click the object, press S, then scale it down. Now I'm going to move the buoy down. And now we have a buoy that's appropriately scaled for the scene. I hope this developer can come back in and fix the scale of these buoys because they're way too big. Whoever placed this fire hydrant did not do a very good job. It's clearly stuck in the map, but I'll teach you how to fix this using Blender. So here in Blender, as you can see, we have a sunken fire hydrant. But if I click it and using the move tool, I can lift it up 
and now it's on the surface like it should be. This can also be done in engine. So hopefully the developer can come back in and fix this fire hydrant because it's clearly glitched and thanks for watching. Someone forgot to remove these unfinished assets in the scene but I can give you a tip in Unity to prevent this from happening. So here in Unity I have some unfinished bridge assets and then what you can do is group and rename the game object as unfinished. Then you can search up every game object that has the word unfinished in its title and turn them off. So now we have a scene without unfinished assets. Hopefully the developer can come back in and turn off these assets and thanks for watching. Whoever made this dog NPC did not do a very good job. It's clearly stuck in an animation cycle. I'll teach you how to fix this using Unity. In Unity, as you can see, the dog is stuck in an animation cycle. However, if we turn off these props, we can see that the dog animation goes back to normal. So hopefully the developer can come back in and fix this glitch because it looks ridiculous. And thanks for watching. I reported this bug months ago to the devs about this fire hydrant clipping into the map and it still hasn't been fixed guys it's been so long you should fix it come on. Whoever did the physics on this rock did not do a very good job. It's just floating around aimlessly and I'll teach you how to fix this using Unity. Here in Unity we have a floating rock but if I go to the ridgy body settings and turn on gravity it falls to the ground. And now we have a rock that is behaving normally. Hopefully the developer can come back in and fix this glitch because it is clearly broken. And thanks for watching. Someone forgot to turn off the nav mesh on this wall, but I'll teach you how to fix this using Unity. So as we can see here in Unity, I'm unable to pass through this wall. But if I go into the editor mode and turn off the nav mesh obstacle, I am then able to pass through the wall to reveal the portal on the other side. So hopefully the developer can come back in and fix this glitch to prevent further injuries from happening. And thanks for watching. Whoever modeled this level did not do a very good job. The kitchen is clearly squished and I'll teach you how to fix this using Unreal Engine. Here in Unreal Engine we have a squished kitchen. So I'm going to select the scale tool and scale the kitchen back to normal. Now we have a normal looking kitchen. It's that easy. Hopefully the developer can come back in and fix this level because it is clearly broken. And thanks for watching. Whoever set the bloom in this scene did not do a very good job. I'll teach you how to fix this using Unity. So in Unity, you can go to the post processing profile and turn down the bloom. See, it looks a lot better. Hopefully this developer can come in and fix the bloom in the scene because it looks ridiculous. Whoever imported this model did not scale it properly. It's way too stretched in the Y axis. I can teach you how to fix this using Blender. So over here in Blender, I'm going to select the model. Then I'm going to go over to the scale tool. After that, I'm going to adjust the Y axis. And as you can see, the model's starting to look a lot more normal. Hopefully the developer can come back in and fix this model because it looks way too stretched for the scene. Thank you very much for watching. Whoever placed these barrels did not scale them properly. I'll teach you how to fix this using Blender. Select the barrel and then click the scale tool. And by using the blue axis, you're able to normalize the barrel you can also use the numbers on the side. I'm just going to switch it to a one. And now we have a normal looking barrel. So hopefully this developer can come back in and fix these barrels because they look really weird. Fix your barrels. Fix your barrels. Fix your barrels. Fix your barrels. Whoever placed this object did not do a very good job. It's clearly on the wrong axis, but I'll teach you how to fix this using Unity. So here we have the object that's on the wall and it clearly shouldn't be there. So I wrote a piece of script that will rotate it and send it down to an appropriate place on the map. Hopefully the developer can come back in and fix this glitch and thanks for watching.